I'm stood here in this mini oasis in the middle of the city centre, Lady Herbert's Garden. There's some almshouses here and this park was created in 1931 by Albert Herbert, cousin of Alfred Herbert of the Herbert Art Gallery fame. It's right next to Millennium Place, uh, which was a Millennium Initiative, Phoenix Initiative, to create this public space. Um, and the Whittle Arches with a statue of Frank Whittle underneath the inventor of the jet engine to celebrate the centenary of his birth. It's a very interesting space. You can see the spires and the Transport Museum. But right next to this garden would have been the Coventry Theatre or Hippodrome or Apollo later where the likes of David Bowie, Finn Lizzy, Gary Newman, even co comedic legends like Laurel and Hardy, Norman Wisdom would have played throughout the late 30s, 40s, 50s, all the way up to the middle of the 80s when it was closed and turned into a bingo hall before this Millennium Initiative began. It's also right next to the medieval city wall and Swanswell Gate. Cook Street Gate is the only other gate we still have. It's at the other end of this garden and soon you'll be able to stay inside Swanswell Gate. It's had an interesting uh, past. It's been everything from an office to cottages and storage facilities. Um, as it stood here for hundreds of years next to Pool Meadow, which would have been a big lake, very similar to Swanswell, which is just under the ring road, and Volgograd Place lies beyond. However, that's been rededicated to opposite Holy Trinity at the end of this street, up Trinity Street, which is another stop on this tour. So having left Lady Herbert's Garden, we're on Millennium Place, and these vast arches that cover the public area with Frank Whittle himself stood below them looking up into the sky at uh, many planes that pass through with jet engines that he invented 